Alex, just to answer your question, uh, you want to do, it has to be, you, you say high school math, but high school math varies depending on which high school you went to and what level high school you did, right? If you did grade 12, I probably forgot uh, a lot of my high school math uh, too, unfortunately. Okay, you need to get into calculus. Uh, calculus is basically, which some of the stuff you mentioned, is basically an introduction of time into mathematics. So you need to know functions, graphs, right? So calculus, linear, uh, linear algebra yeah, as well, integrals, differential equations, all of that is really functions, right? So you need to know your functions really well. That means polynomial functions, exponential functions, trigonometric functions, logarithmic functions, all types of functions. So you need to know grade 12 well to be able to graph functions, right? So what you end up doing, oh, why am I going to grab a permanent pen? <laughs> I was about to grab a permanent pen. Watch this. Uh, let me just answer this a quick uh, Speedy Gonzalez for Alex. Basic, really quick. Think about this. If I give you a function f of x, any type of function, okay, let's assume this is a poly function. Poly, smooth, wavy, stuff like this. Let's assume this is your function. Right? Let's assume this is your function. Coming out of high school, you should have been able to do this. Ready? Coming out of high school. You should have been able to find this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. So the x and y intercept. You should have been able to find out which way the openings are, up or down. Okay. And get n behavior of the function. Okay. Which is basically this. In calculus, you learn to find the relative minimums and the relative maximums, these points as well that's the first step you do that's the first step you do gang apologies i need to take this call i'm going to put this on mute